including the over 2,000 projects that dot the nooks and crannies of our state. My party and I have ensured that my people-centered approach to politics, which is driven by a commitment to work for our people at the bottom of society, is fostering development and more participation in our politics. From the hills of Kukuruku to the rice farms of Ilushi, through the maize fields in Sobe, to the lush forests in Urohi, Ojoba, and the forests and waters of Ovia River, we have met with leaders of our traditional institutions, conversed with traders, journeyed with transporters, and met with pensioners and public servants who appreciate the work that we have done in the last four years. Since November 2016, we have made giant strides in rewriting the development narrative of our dear state. We have revamped our primary health care system through deep-rooted reforms. We have transformed our basic education to be more responsive to the needs of the 21st century by training our teachers and introducing technology to our schools. We have rebuilt critical physical and digital infrastructure across the state. We have strengthened our security architecture and enacted civil service and pension reforms for better productivity and sustainability and have created thousands of opportunities for young people to be employed and empowered. Some of our other reforms have included energy projects such as the 55 megawatts Osiomo Independent Power Plant, IPP, which is already completed and ready for commissioning, and the 6,000 barrels per day Edo modular refinery. We have also made investments in real estate such as Emota Gardens, which first phase has been completed. With the critical physical and social infrastructure which we have started building, we have now laid the foundation for the next four years and the future. As we enter a post-COVID world in the next four years, we will be focusing on our programs to make Edo great again. Under our Making Edo Great Again mega manifesto, we will emphasize deeper governance reforms, including rebuilding the public service and emplacing a citizen-centric leadership through which we will continue to transform our social services and infrastructure. We will reposition government as an enabler to consolidate and enhance our signature projects, such as Edo Jobs, Creative and Innovative Hubs, and Industrialization Projects. The future will be driven by technology and data, and Edo State will be repositioned to participate in the fourth industrial revolution. Part of our plan to develop large, local, sustainable economy will include accelerating our current initiatives in human capacity development, agribusiness, energy, and mining. Our legacy will be to leave for future administrations a 30-year regional, urban, social, and economic master plan based on which Edo will regain its greatness. We are very optimistic that Edo will be able to take advantage of the post-coronavirus world economy to achieve more in the second term than we did in, during our first term. I implore all of you to come out and re-elect me and my deputy, Philip Schreibel, by voting massively for our party, the People's Democratic Party, on September 19th. We are trusting God Almighty that the election will be violent free because of the preparations which has been made by security agencies and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. I thank you and God bless the those states and bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
My people, now well done, oh. I agree to not plenty. Our MOU governor don't bring another OYO your project come. This time our correct governor, Goblin Nohegase Obaseki, don't join hand with other people when Sabi work and then don't bring a door refinery come for our state. With the same MOU when Oyibo they call memorandum of understanding, a do state government don't do a door refinery reach 80% and the project done already they provide job for plenty of our people. With the same MOU when some people they talk say na audio project, Governor Obaseki don't complete a mountain garden and him don't complete Osiomo power. With a door refinery and all the other projects and company when our governor don't bring correct job don't they have on for a do state then not they call us civil service state again as Edo don't turn one of the best states for Nigeria if we want to make all this MOU wonder continue make we use our voters cards take choose better thing when September 19 reach make we remember to turn print for the umbrella party make we vote for PDP make we vote for Gordon of Baseki and Philip Shaibu so that then will continue to the do better thing for Edo people fellow Edo citizens there is what we call snap and send. Snap whatever is happening, activities going on, quarrels going on, INEC, what they are doing, what the police. I'm not impressed.
My name is Uyosa Ifionai, a person living with disability. I've been blind for 13 years now and I've gone through a lot of limitations thinking that I will not be productive in any tasks that I've been given. So that has been my mindset since I lost my sight and by God's grace I was able to go through school. I graduated from the University of Benin in 2014. I went for youth service where I rounded off in 2016. In that, I started thinking of how I was going to be accepted in the labor market because now it was people's perception that I was going to wrestle with. Even my parents were worried. In 2017, I heard about Godin Obaseki's initiative called Edo Jobs. Though I was skeptical about the process of employment, I registered. Two months after I registered, I got a notification via text message that I was selected for a screening and test. And after the interview, I went home feeling hopeless that they've seen me now. I don't know if I'll be employed. Then two weeks after that interview, I got another notification telling me to come and get my appointment letter. And that was my breakthrough. I never thought that it would be so easy for a person living with disability like me to get a job. My parents are no longer worried. I can now provide for my wife and child. It is nice to note that nobody is left out in Godwin Obaseki's administration that he puts people living with disability in consideration when he creates his policies. And this is why I appeal to the people of Edo states to vote Godwin Obaseki for a second term in office as the governor of Edo State. Everybody knows say to get water from Grant for Edo Central not be small thing. But Obaseki government don't stand the big bar say people for the area must get correct clean water. So jolly jolly don't come for the people of Esan Southeast and Esan Northeast local government area because of the new improved Uboha Uromi water scheme when go end Wahala for water for the area. My people, I beg, make una cooperate with government and the contractors make the project better where where. Even self, the people when they count house, they come for the area. Make una cooperate so them go fit lay pipe reach your house. Make una shine una eyes oh. Make them not destroy the pipe oh. Now Edo State Ministry of Water Resources and the State Public Private Partnership Office now bring this message.
I am able to promise what God will we do, not in the way that a witch doctor prescribed tomorrow. Because I have worked with Godwin. This man has spent years of his productive time thinking, planning, creating, strategizing, and together working to give meaning to governance and to identify governance for the good of our people. Ever since uh, for the past years, um, the state, the Edo State Stadium has been in a bad shape. But since Oba Seki came in for these past um, three years and some months, he has done a great job. In fact, uh, the stadium is in a new form. And um, I don't call it um, a renovated stadium, I call it a brand new stadium, you know. Oba Seki has spoken. You can feel the difference. When a man is speaking from the depth of his heart, focusing on jobs, focusing on wealth creation, focusing on entrepreneurship, focusing on women as the real guys servicing the commercial heart of our great state and recognizing that fighting poverty means empowering the youth, equipping the youth, giving them skills and attracting investors to bring their money here we have the land we have the people we have the creative minds so that we can create wealth and consign poverty to history you don't have to all have degrees or certificates but just let us know who you are where you live what you have done if you have not done anything what your passion is hopefully realistic passion and when the opportunities come we go there and we search and it's from there we pull people and introduce them to the opportunities restoring integrity to public education giving meaning to free basic education ensuring that the child of the poor attend a school that is as attractive as the child of the rich. Today we have trained 7,000 teachers and we are training more. And all our basic schools will be enrolled under the Adobe's program. this hour when there is no ready oil money a man who can think a man who is committed a man who is resourceful a man who is intelligent and a man who will put a dozen fox and with an intelligent creative resourceful governor in the person of governor Baseki, supported by a young man who has led Nigeria youth at the level of nine. These two, one rich in economics, in wealth creation, in entrepreneurship, supporting small businesses. This one, rugged, dogged, understanding the language of the youth, working together. I am confident you will say in the near future, this one, as we see, the people are saying, may be the greatest. Vote Garden Norerase Obaseki and Philip Swaibu. Vote PDP. PDP. Power to the people. Signed by all the world leaders. So where has the governor gone wrong? 
I, these are the questions I'm asking because this is democracy we want. We want democracy. We have finally found democracy. And we found somebody who, who is well trained, very civil. What is the essence of democracy? It's not about development and empowering the youth and, bring, and improving the quality of life. Look at World Bank data. Look at IMF data on poverty in Nigeria. Almost 90 million people are poor, living on less than $1 a day. And the government said, guys, let us industrialize the state. Let us have less and less people depending on government handout. Let us make our people prosper. People go to church to, to pray for prosperity. And the governor is saying, let us make our people prosper. Let's bring in investors. And it's been this for the last six months, government has been distracted. As a result of the inordinate ambition of a few people. On my own, I have opened channel of communication to a few of them, and they are aware. I've been talking to them. Guys, let us, let us not destroy the house that we have built. I am in touch with almost all of them. Privately, unofficially, and, 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 and officially. Let us come together. We have been working together in the last 10 years. What has gone wrong that we cannot resolve? We are, we, are in, we are in APC, we are, we, 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 are, we, are in, we are in charge of APC in Edo State. The governor has not left APC. As a young boy growing in Benin, I had goals, I had visions that I needed to accomplish at some certain stages in my life. Schooling, starting life, starting a family, developing myself. Coming back to Benin, I said, okay, I needed to start a project, creating shelter for myself and for a family when I started raising a family. I got a plot of land, trying to develop this land. I encountered a lot of challenges, which is deep down into my pocket. What I should have used X, Y, Z of amount for, I started using times two of that amount. Why? Because of CDAs. They come to my site, Disturbed workers seize their materials at every stage during the process of that construction, from starting the foundation to the decking stage up to the roofing stage, even putting a ball in my property. I had to pay for it. At that point, I, for one, personally gave up. Gave up totally that I was thinking of migrating away from this country and relocating elsewhere so that I can have peace and live in a sane society because. The development in Edo State became stagnant. Nothing was happening in Edo State. Edo State was not bubbling. Business were not thriving because those who are willing to come and invest in Edo State had issues with these CDS people. But God brought Sukkot to us and brought God in Obaseki and he restored our hope. Now people are coming back. Investments are going on right, left and center. Those who did not have a plus side buying New areas are being opened, roads are being tied, and more people are coming to develop their states. Parents are encouraging their children outside the, outside the state, come and develop, oh. come and develop. Oh. Things have changed, oh. no more interference from CDAs, oh. and they are happy, and we thank the governor for that. Because that is a big win, but not just for me, but my generation and the generation years of born. And now Benin is peaceful because those people are no longer there. My name is Joseph Uzasui Dauza. That young man that almost gave up, that almost migrated from his own state where he was born, where he was bred, to go and look for greener pastures elsewhere. I'm here with so much projects under my purview. I'm working every day peacefully without interference from CDA. Hope has been restored. Sanity has been restored because we have a working governor, Gordon Obaseki.
Pastor, you will dedicate your Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now come to tell me, oh Lord. Oh Lord. This afternoon. This afternoon. I have come here. I have come here. To apologize. To apologize. What has happened today by the comrade governor is quite unfortunate. So, uh, comrade Adam Sashem is it to react to some of the things we said then and what has changed now and whether or not what the people of Edo State should believe in what you tell them. Oh man, where can I go here? Emma, the bank where we can now win your game, master. Me, my wife begging now go one winner. Emma, are you boy you expecting? Emma, we marry you boy you expecting? My Edo people, election don't near finish. Oh. So make a young you are we go take Waka on 19th of September. I neck don't talk, see them go ready to start the voting around 8 30 a.m. sharp. So ready yourself to Waka go your polling unit. But remember, say COVID 19 still in Nigeria. So I beg wear your face mask and ready to social distance yourself online. Not forget your PVCO. Now the instrument where we could take Barry Agbero, corruption and godfatherism for Edo forever and ever. Wakago your polling units make you stand up for line. Them INEC people go check you, give you paper when you go press your hand to vote Godwin of Baseki. I beg remember say Godwin of Baseki na umbrella. Umbrella na Godwin of Baseki. Take your number one finger, press them for inside the ink. Then press them inside the box with the near the umbrella. I beg you, not press that finger anyhow. Now softly, softly, you go take press them. Make your vote count for Godwin or Baseki. Carry the paper, put them for inside box. Then gently come out for where them the vote. Make other people feel do their own. But not leave your poly unit all. Just give plenty distance. After them finish, them go begin to count all the votes. Make sure say you did there. They use your eye take monitor to make sure say no wuru wuru or mago mago enter before them announce results for that polling unit. If you see any wuru wuru, I beg carry your phone snap and picture or record video. Now like this we go take vote our week can see governor Bruno Baseki make it still they do the better work when him done already start. Now the umbrella go make sure say me and you use our power to take Komot Agbero, CDA boys, godfatherism, poverty, and insecurity from Edo State. Obaseki, carry go. Obaseki na umbrella. Obaseki na PDP. Na PDP we day. Obaseki no. See them coming. See them coming. Eh, hey, whoa! They don't come again, no. Oh. Politicians with different faces. Che, this one fear me, oh. It's supposed to fear you too, oh. This is and confusion. We don't even know who are waiting them be. Eh, hey, whoa! Totem agenda. Agbero government. Different personality for day and another for night. Talk, talk from different side of mouth. Eh? That one fear also. We cannot go back to Egypt. Edo must move forward with digital governor Godwin Obaseki and him deputy Philip Shaibu with their wonderful work all over Edo State. Infrastructural development, empowerment and employment, workers and pensioners welfare. How many we go feed talk? We say no to godfathers, no to lions and tigers. We say yes to Obaseki and Shaibu good governance. And we almost vote for continuity. Vote for PDP with umbrella symbol on September 19. Vote for PDP now. Vote for Obaseki and Shaibu. PDP, power to the people. My name is Amin Amawusa, a coach in Edo State Sports Commission. Take a look at the rebuilt Samo of Bermuda Stadium and you will see that there is a radical shift from the tradition of the past where government intervention was cosmetic. I am overwhelmed by the drastic transformation of this sports arena to an international stadium with state-of-the-art Olympic standard facilities. This new edifice has greatly motivated we the coaches and athletes in the sports commission. With this radical transformation in the sports sector, it is clear why the federal government picked Edo to host the national sports.
Sports Festival, several other international sports activities lined up. Whoever thinks says Samuel Bomedia Stadium go better like this. This is another Obaseki wonder. I bet make a clap for our wake and see governor, Godwin Obaseki. Edo State is transforming. It is getting brighter and brighter every day. The state that was known a few years ago as a haven for tout with a chaotic city center is now serene, conducive for families and businesses to thrive. This is as a result of the visionary leadership of Mr. Godwin Obasiki, the executive governor of the state. Prior to being elected, he promised the people of the state that they will see accelerated development and the implementation of people-oriented policies. The vision of his administration is to develop a modern and progressive Edo state where every citizen is empowered with opportunity to live life in its fullness. This is further driven by a mission to achieve sustainable and inclusive prosperity anchored on accountable governance, efficient service delivery, and social justice for all the people. To actualize this, six thematic pillars were created. Institutional reform, economic revolution, culture and tourism, infrastructural development, environmental sustainability, and social welfare enhancement. The Obaseki administration is built on systematic pillars. We have the institutional reforms, which to me is the actual starting point, because if you don't get it right with your institutions, you're going to have problems across the board. So it was a very deliberate effort on the part of this government to begin reforms from our institutions. There was the strategy dialogue, there was the different workshops across MDAs and several other retreats just to make sure that the executives of this government were um, well informed about the, 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 the direction of the government. Of the entire Edo. With the visionary leadership of Godwin Obasiki, Edo State has been positioned as one of the most investor-friendly states in Nigeria. The people of the state are rejoicing. I am a pupil of Adelsua Primary School in Benin City. Anytime I am going to school, I am full of excitement. I am excited because of the beauty of my school. Our classrooms are well furnished and of course our teachers teach us very well. Our teachers with new techniques and electronic devices have made learning very easy and fast. I cannot wait to be in school again tomorrow. Listen to this. On the 5th of October 2019, thousands of teachers gathered at the Eagle Square Abuja to honor Governor Godwin Obaseki as their best performing governor. This is because Governor Obaseki's far-reaching and redemptive measures have created the bright environment with the introduction of Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation, Edo Best Program. Under the Edo Best Program, 11,300 teachers have been trained in ICT. 11,300 tabs have been distributed. 891 schools have been covered. 269,000 pupils are benefiting from Edo Best. Liberia, Rwanda, Sierra Leone have visited to adopt the model, while states in Nigeria, including Lagos, have also visited and are said to adopt the model. Pupils learn three times more of what they used to learn. Edo teachers are the third group of workers in the world to work with Facebook workspace. 1,200,000 instructional materials have been distributed and there is community ownership of schools. 
Governor of Baseki is changing the people's socioeconomic destinies with robust basic education in Edo State. <laughs> I'm calling in from Edo Giants. Please, am I on to Mr. Saze or DIC? Yes, I'm Please, for clarification purpose, what's your middle name? Uh, okay. So I'm to inform you that the sale phone is ready for people. Okay, oh, that's fine. Congratulations, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, have a nice day. World class customer service. Reliable to spatial information. Reduced cost in collection time of certificates of occupancy. This is Edo GIS. DJMTV. For the first time, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at DJMTV. And also do not forget to click on the notification bell for more superb videos. I am Omoru Latifa. DJ TV.